Alex, the question of consciousness often comes in when we're talking about physics. It comes in in two ways. One, uh, classically, when we talk about quantum physics, some feel that the observer is an important part of the process, not just uh, something that came along afterwards, but really is necessary for quantum physics and therefore causes some kind of, 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 of independent existence of consciousness is, is necessary for physics. On the other hand, we have an approach that says if the laws of physics are fundamental in, um, in creating a universe, uh, where do they come from? And uh, some talk, and you've talked about, uh, you know, if you push that back far enough, are you forced to think of something, of some kind of mind related to that? So how do you begin to um, think about consciousness? Um, well, I have to say that when I begin to think about consciousness, I am just as puzzled as everybody else, because we don't really know how consciousness works. Um, quantum mechanics, uh, uh, at least in its original formulations, required the existence of observers. And um, People uh, tried very hard to banish observers from quantum <laughs> mechanics, and I think they are, they have mostly succeeded. So I wouldn't say that, uh, that quantum mechanics uh, necessarily um, th throws any much light on consciousness. Okay. Um, th there is some puzzle, however, which I think about quantum mechanics, uh, which is, uh, in quantum mechanics, we cannot predict uh, the outcomes of measurements. So we cannot predict the future with certainty. We can only find probabilities. And the um, question is, uh, how, how are these probabilities, who decides which choice is made? I mean, we have, we make a measurements, it can come out in many different ways. Uh, it's as if there is some uh, you know, blind will that pushes the universe in this way or that way at its junction. Um, so um, that's a very strange picture. And you can even ask, maybe uh, this will is not completely blind. Yeah. Maybe uh, there is consciousness has some effect on what choices we make in quantum uh, transitions. Um, but this problem doesn't, sorry, uh, this problem doesn't arise if uh, in the many worlds uh, picture of quantum mechanics, which assumes that all outcomes actually are happening. Well, those are two very interesting possibilities. Both of them, in one sense, are rather bizarre. Either you have to have a many worlds interpretation in which the whole of reality branches into virtually an infinite amount of, of really existent worlds following every possible uh, permutation and branching, which is enormously uh, 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 numerical. I mean, it, you can't even imagine how big that would be. Or you have to postulate the involvement of some consciousness, as is both of them are, are bizarre. So that, that's one category of consciousness which we, we have to deal with, uh, very strange. Uh, another one is, is the laws of physics, uh, which we need to make universes. You've been remarkably successful in taking the laws of physics and showing how we can get something from nothing, but that nothing still had the laws of physics, and they're very clever, those laws of physics. So do you need some kind of a mind of some kind uh, that sort of sits behind them? Well, it is the... I think there is uh, little doubt that the universe, underneath the universe, is mathematical in nature. Because mathematics describes the universe with extraordinary precision. Mm -hmm. um, so there, are, there is this set of mathematical laws um, that describes our universe, and the question is, where do these laws come from? Um, this question is, uh, I mean, extremely difficult to answer, because uh, people, Einstein was very successful in his search of laws, uh, for gravity, for example, he said that he formulated the criteria, mathematical beauty of the laws, of course, mathematical consistency as well. Um, even if uh, you can find the laws in this way, it's still a bit strange because 
uh, who was selecting them based on their beauty? And we know beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, th I think uh, I, I don't have an answer. I, I know that uh, it would be nice if we had just one theory, which is mathematically consistent. But we know this is not the case. Uh, my friend Max Stegmark suggests that all mathematical structures <laughs> describe possible universes, which is a somewhat bizarre construction, which is uh, uh, not everybody is prepared to accept, <laughs> but uh, it is at least a logically consistent one. The third possibility to deal with consciousness deals with human consciousness. And the question about whether that is something that is uh, an independent reality or just something that is a, a product of the physical world. Um, well, I think most of my colleagues believe that uh, there is uh, nothing um, magic or um, even very strange about consciousness. And, um, and about free will, for example. They have an, an impression of having free will. And of course, if we did, uh, free from what? From the laws of physics, I guess, <laughs> so that we are free to uh, choose between different options. Um, and uh, of course, according to physics, as we know it now, there is no room there for any free will. Um, I still hope that uh, <laughs> something like free will may exist in some form, which is not determined by the laws of physics. Uh, however... To do that, you would have to have something of the nature of human consciousness be independent of the laws of physics. I don't think you can have it both ways. Some philosophers tr try to do that, but I think that's, that's uh, tortuous. Well, uh, I mean, uh, you, you can imagine that quantum mechanics determines the probabilities of uh, future events. So you have, you start with some initial state, and then you can have some branching tree of mm -hmm. various probabilities. And uh, basically the question is, how do you choose the path mm -hmm. along that tree? Um, it's uh, possible that physics determines the structure of the tree, of the tree and consciousness has at least some effect on our path. If that's true, that would give consciousness some sort of an independent existence. That's true, but uh, these are dreams. I mean, <laughs> right, right, right. There is not uh, an iota of evidence no, that I, this I, is true. And there is one big problem actually with this picture, which is if I uh, decide to go along the tree this way and you decide to go that way, uh, which seems to suggest that if there is any truth to this, then consciousness should can, kind of be uh, one. Wow. Um, so let's just pull it all together then. We have consciousness in three kind of domains here. One is in quantum mechanics, with what we have to do with it there. The other is in, in, in somehow under writing the laws of physics in some way because they're mathematical and mathematics, you either the product of mind or something. So we have consciousness somehow involved with the mathematics of the laws of physics. And then we have the, the human consciousness and, and the question of, of free will. And, and our desire to have free will may necessitate the existence of consciousness independent of the physical. I mean, these are, these are three different domains and how they intersect. You know, I am not prepared to bring this all together to a beautiful conclusion. No, no, I can't Because either. I think that these are just, as I said, these are just, um, uh, you know, speculations, and I'm sure my colleagues would say uh, idle speculations, and, uh, and I think so too. So the, uh, at this point, we have very little to say, of substance to say about Nobody's it. Nobody's claiming that it's science, but, but I would claim, and I would claim strongly, that it's a real issue, that uh, that we can say science can't comment effectively on it now. Maybe, maybe never. Maybe it's insoluble. Maybe, maybe it, it's a, it's an illusory problem. Maybe, but what I'm saying, it's an important subject. It's a real issue uh, to continue to focus on and to continue to recognize. I agree. <laughs>